Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to install the Bottle Python Web Framework on the Onion Omega. Now, a um, couple things to start out with. One is I, I assume, I'm starting with a fa from a factory reset, and I'm assuming that you've got Wi-Fi already set up. If you're not sure how to do that, I have a couple of other video videos that show you how to do that. So the, the Bottle Python fr Framework is... Um, is a very lightweight web framework. It's actually lighter weight than Flask. Uh, Flask actually can't be installed on the Onion Omega. It's, it's too big. So I'm going to show you how to do a minimal install for Bottle to get that to work. All right, so the first thing you want to do is update your packages. But with the 0.0.4 uh, version of the firmware, you have to update the opackageconf file. So go ahead and edit that. That's uh, vi etsy opackageconf. And you want to remove the last line that says option check signature one. If you don't do that, then your updates uh, are going to fail. So then you do o package update. All right, and let's make a directory to store our little app. All right. So now let's go get um, the bottle file. Really, all you need is one file to run bottle. And I'm going to go ahead and get that from GitHub. And that's wget. I use the dash dash no check certificate so I could go ahead and so that doesn't fail. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that bottle file. All right, let me show you how much space we're using right now. So even with getting bottle and the package update, we're still using 5%, which is what you get from a factory reset. All right, so now the things you're going to have to um, install are, of course, you're going to need the light version of Python. So we'll get that started. And it does take a, a minute or so, and I'll cut this video down so you're not watching it download. All right, that's done. Let's see how much space we have now. So 33% as in use after installing the Python Lite. Let's go ahead and install now the next package we're going to need, which is the Python email. All right, let's see how much space we need. Now it's 35% used. Let's get the next package, which is Python Codex. All right, so that's done. Let's see how much space is now being used. Now 45% is being used. Let's get the next package that it's going to need, which is the Python logging. All right, that's done. Let's see what we're at now. It's 46%. And the last package we're going to need is the OpenSSL. done let's see how much space we have left now so 46 percent used to get the minimal install for bottle all right let's create a simple bottle file and right now all I have in here is bottle.py that's what I downloaded from github let's do a uh, bottle test.py and I have a little application the simple route which just slash hello username and it'll print out hello whatever that username is welcome to the Omega world and when you run it, I specify a host of 000, so that we can connect to it um, from any computer on the network. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. We'll type Python bottle test. Underscore. There we go. Go to a new tab. I happen to know this address is 192.168.1.24. Port number 8080 80 slash hello, and we'll say test user, and there you go. So it says, hello test user, welcome to the Omega world. So from my computer, I hit the bottle web server running on the uh, Onion Omega. So that's how you get started really quickly with bottle, and uh, next time I'll show you how to then actually turn the GPIO um, inputs and outputs on and off. I hope you thought, found that useful, and I'll talk to you later.